Welcome to Variant One Shop. Before I get into today's episode, I just want to let everyone know that Saturday, February 25th, I will once again be selling several collectibles and action figures from my personal collection at the Lost Toys in Dallas, Texas. Because frankly, I have way too much stuff. I'll be selling lots of DC and Marvel stuff. A lot of it will be as cheap as $10, but if action figures isn't your thing and you missed me last time, be sure to stop by anyway. I'm always down to just talk about comic books and just talk to you guys in general. Plus the store is just really cool and they have everything from superhero stuff all the way to Transformers. I'll be there from noon to 5 p.m. I put the address and all the details in the description below. So I hope to see you guys on Saturday, February 25th. But anyway, as the title implies, I'm gonna be talking about the most powerful being in the Marvel Universe. Or more specifically, who is the most powerful being in the Marvel Universe. What basically sparked this idea was a tweet from Stan Lee back in September of 2014. What happened was a fan asked Stan on Twitter, who do you believe is the most powerful being in the Marvel Universe? Doctor Strange, Galactus, Thanos, anyone else? And Stan the Man just replied with, probably Galactus. And while that's a pretty good pick and many would say, well if the creator of pretty much half the Marvel Universe says Galactus, it's Galactus. I gotta say, as powerful as Galactus is, and man oh man is he powerful, hence I'm having nicknames like Devourer of Worlds, Ravager of Planets, and the World Eater. But the fact is, and no disrespect to Stan Lee whatsoever, the man's responsible for half my childhood joy, I'm forever grateful, but Galactus is not the most powerful being in the Marvel Universe. But now some of you are like, but Stan said so, and he co-created Galactus in so many other Marvel characters. Plus, besides that, Galactus has the power cosmic, and the power cosmic is limitless godly power. It lets who's ever using it manipulate their size or mass, teleport, have telepathy, travel through time, it gives immortality, resurrects the dead, and that's just the tip of the iceberg, friends. So if Galactus isn't the most powerful being in the Marvel Universe, who is? Well, there's actually several who are more powerful than he is. So let's talk about them. For instance, there's Eternity, who was also co-created by Stan Lee. And as many of you know, Galactus was born in a universe that no longer exists. But Eternity, being time itself in the Marvel Universe, has no beginning or end. Because, well, he's freaking Eternity. He also has the power to control and alter space, time, and even reality itself. He's even been said to be relatively omnipotent. So for this, and the fact that Eternity has no beginning or end, while Galactus does, makes Eternity more powerful. But you know who's even stronger than Eternity? The Living Tribunal. The Living Tribunal is an entity that exists across the entire Marvel Universe. He is the supreme authority and judge of the Marvel Universe, and the being responsible for cosmic justice. He's essentially the being that maintains balance in the Marvel Universe. He's so powerful, in fact, that he makes Galactus, Celestials, Eternity, and even Death and Infinity look cute, which is just downright insane. Then we have another character who's more powerful than everyone I just mentioned, and that is the Beyonder. All I need to say is the Beyonder is both an inhuman and a mutant. And what happens when you mix the two? One of the most powerful characters in the Marvel Universe, and just comic books in general. He's so powerful, all the beings I mentioned already, like Galactus, the Living Tribunal, and Eternity, couldn't take him. He's virtually omnipotent. But now you're like, if none of these characters are the most powerful character in the Marvel Universe, who the heck is? Well, the one above all. Like, that's literally his name. When he signs a check, he writes, the one above all. But he's not just the most powerful being in the Marvel Universe, he's also the most powerful being in the Marvel Multiverse, as he's the one who created the multiverse. He's also the one who tells the Living Tribunal what to do. He's essentially his boss. In summary, he's the only being in the Marvel Omniverse with omnipotence. Not virtually or near omnipotence, he is full on omnipotent. He's also omnipresent and omniscient. So the next time who is the most powerful character in Marvel gets brought up in conversation, you could say the one above all, which is a really arrogant name, but it's true, so what are you gonna do? Before I bring today's one shot to a close, I just wanna thank our sponsor, Domain.com. When you buy a domain name from Domain.com, you get the power to influence and control what people find when they search you online. No domain extension will help you tell your story better like a .com or .net domain name. Domain.com is affordable, reliable, and easy to use. The guys at Domain.com gave Aaron's an awesome offer. Get 15% off Domain.com's already affordable domain names and web hosting when you use the coupon code Variance at checkout. So when you think domain names, think Domain.com. 